Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm going to be talking about a creature feature. Well, yeah, I guess, because to keep it in the spirits of Halloween. Yeah, this is my way of celebrating the season, because why the hell not, I guess. So, to be more exact, I guess, I'm. it's going to be a behind the scenes kind of thing where I'll talk about movies that were supposed to be made but for whatever reason they were not so this could be a number of reasons of course obviously but i figured this would be a perfect opportunity to talk about some you know halloween creature feature type stuff i guess so anyway like my previous video there was going to be another another version of godzilla was gagging yep a second version i guess yeah the return of king hedor so, from this era of the Godzilla films. So, they're basically reusing a character that we've already seen. The character had appeared in uh, quite a few times in film, of course. And not just films, but also in a TV series, of course, as well. And, of course, they're trying to have it take place in the same universe as the other Godzilla series as well, folks. And I'm gonna say a few other films as well, and I really do mean it. From this era of Godzilla films, like these I'm showing right here, folks. I mean, hell, he was even in the film titled Destroy All Monsters as well. And where he's supposed to be the big baddie and whatnot. So, but pretty much what I'm saying here, yeah, he's been around for quite a while in this era of Godzilla films. And he proved to be quite popular. So, I'm guessing here that the company of Toho, the company that was responsible for these films, most of them anyway, so they figured he would be good enough to be in the movie. Uh, be more. What, what would the story focus upon is these aliens from this nuclear space hunter m that begins a slow conquest of earth still in identities and building a base of operation from this giant Godzilla tower and of course their ultimate plan was to basically take over the planet earth and rule the remains of course the nuclear space hunter m alien characters do begin to scheme and use King Hedorah, Gagan, and, uh, and another monster, of course. This is what's going to be this monster, folks, which I showed in my previous video of this series. So, yeah, I had another chance of being here, folks. He never did, but anyway. The point is that the story was going to center around that there's going to be this alien race with the ultimate plan of using these monsters to pretty much complete their goal by controlling these creatures from these strange action tapes or what have you so of course there's gonna be a giant fight scene of course at the end of the film where due to, to the human characters of the story the tapes will accidentally by mistake summon Godzilla Rodan in the film of course and even the other character Voran to the area, whom in turn face off against these three giant monsters to, uh, for the fate of the earth. So, of course, there's gonna be some gigantic creatures or whatever. These space alien creatures decided to be such assholes. But, like I said a moment ago, that it was never meant to be for this monster. Yeah, uh, this version was never made, folks, unfortunately. At the end of the day, this was what they were ultimately made, not the other version, of course. So, yeah, just makes me wonder what could have been if the other version was actually made. So, makes does make me wonder. Honestly, I'm getting really tired of them just recycling the same character character monsters over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, this was basically an early example of what they wanted to do, what could have been, but ultimately became the other film, like I just said. 
despite the similar plot to what the film ultimately went through, the original concept had a much larger monster cast. So there's going to be quite a few monsters in this film. In the, for, uh, but in the final draft, there was more of a focus on the character of Gagan. The cyber monster was, I guess, somewhat new to the Godzilla series in, in some ways. So I guess that's something, I guess, at this point. But the overall cast of monsters was basically the same that we've already seen before in either version of the film. So, but anyway, the thing is that what stopped it from being made was money. Yep, pretty much just money. Had too much of a low budget. The production of this film was extremely low, folks. It was really, really, really low. So it couldn't really afford of what they wanted to do. And that's ultimately what brought the, this version of the film. Um, so these films have gotten cheaper. This is a film was pretty obvious that these films had become I mean, cheaper and cheaper and even cheaper as you know as it went. So it's quite obvious that the production value was going to be extremely low. Oh well I guess. That's what ultimately stopped this this version of the film I've been made. So anyway folks, I guess that'll be it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. Happy Halloween, everybody. So, haha. See ya.